Hi guys, it's Zigzag here. So today I'm going to be opening another Strixhaven School of Mages draft booster. This is draft booster number 7 overall, the second one from the Prismari pre-release pack. So let's begin. So I am starting to get to the point of having a decent number of the unique cards. And I think Eureka Moment, which is the first one here, is one that I already have. Eureka Moment. Next up we have Warhold Campus. Like I've gotten so many Warhold Campus and Witherborn Campuses, but I have yet to get literally any of the other ones. Um, but yeah, Warhold Campus I already have as well. Biomathematician. Mulder and Karak. Uh, Pillar Drop Warden. Um, right here. So I don't have it yet. So Pillar Drop Warden, 4 mana, Creature, Spirit Dwarf, 1-5, Reach, 2 mana and tap, Sacrifice Pillar Drop Warden, Return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand, Activate only as a sorcery. A giant statue of a dwarf is still a giant statue. That's... I like that flavor t text. Um, next up we have Charge Through. Which goes... Right here. Uh, charge Through. One green mana, instant. Target creature gains trample until end of turn. Draw a card. What a move. Warhold gets caught flat footed and Witherbloom Barrel is ahead. Gramic, Mage Tower Commentator. Alright. Interesting. The flavor text on that doesn't seem very inspired. Anyways, um, Arrogant Poet. goes right here. It's the first black card of the set as well. So, Arrogant Poet, 2 mana, creature, human warlock, 2-1. Whenever Arrogant Poet, uh, whenever Arrogant Poet attacks, you may, may pay 2 life. If you do, it gains flying until end of turn. I would be kinder to my peers, Professor, but I simply don't have any. Alright, yeah. Uh, 
Um, next up we have Defend the Campus. The flavor text for Arrogant Poet is good because it is a very arrogant thing to say. Um, number 12. Next time, defend the, er, uh, uh, defend the campus, four mana, instant, choose one. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Destroy target creature with power four or greater. Professor scrambled to push the mage hunters back, leaving the heart of, of Strixhaven undefended. Okay. Next up we have Reject. goes right here. Reject. Two mana. Instant. Counter target creature or planeswalker spell unless its controller pays three mana. If that spell is countered this way, exile it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard. Grux, for the last time, you have to do more than simply shout apply at the administrators. Pavel, admissions officer. I like that flavor text out, it's really good. Um, next up we have Introduction to Annihilation. This is one of those weird colorless cards. And it is right there. So like with uh, Coria, they had a few colorless cards as well. I'm going to be using... Um, pink for these just because it's I don't really have that many other colors of sleeves so yep next up we have divide by zero which goes right here uh, this is an uncommon so the first uncommon of this pack Divide by zero, three mana, instant. Return target spell or permanent with mana value one or greater to its owner's hand. Learn. Misery, inadequacy, failure. The common denominator is you. All right, that's pretty harsh flavor text. Um, next up we have decisive denial. goes uh, right here on this point page. So decisive denial, blue, green, two mana, instant, choose one. Target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. Uh, counter target non creature spell unless its controller pays three mana. I've heard enough. It's the same lady from the Eureka moment. Um, no idea who she is yet. Next up we have Mercurial Transformation. goes right there. Mercurial Transformation. Two mana, sorcery lesson. Until end of turn, target non-land permanent loses all abilities and becomes your choice of a blue frog creature with base power and toughness 1-1 one, one, or a blue octopus creature with base power and toughness 4-4. Four, four. For sun's sake, I just want a crab. Okay. So you can either power it up or power it down however you want, which that's an interesting so 
though. For the rare slot, we have semester's end, which I think I already have. Yep. So this goes into the binder. And then we have the uh, Strixhaven Mystical Archives card number 57, which is Snakeskin Veil. Vale. I just want to check something real quick. I feel like Snakeskin Veil vale was um, had a recent printing as well. Was it, was it Zendikar Rising? actually called on the most recent set where it was introduced um i didn't think it was called on but i knew it was recent so it's not that surprising um so cultivate um it goes on a page that should go right here there are 63 cards in the mystical arc I saw, which is precisely seven pages. So that should be the last page. This is on the last page. Um, so, snakeskin veil, one mana, instant. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. It gains hex proof until end of turn. Never reject the kindness of a serpent. It will not be offered twice. Druidic Manuscript Fragment. All right, and this goes right here. Then for the token slot, we have Fractal, which is right there. So this gets thrown into the box as well. That is everything from that pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So not quite half the pack were duplicates. Um, we got a colorless, a white, and then a bunch of multis, special land, and the token. So, yeah. This set is looking like it is going to have a lot of multicolored duplicates, which is um, quite different from a lot of the more recent sets where multicolored cards have almost exclusively been like rares and uh, uncommons it, for the most part. Um, Elementalist 2, so that goes there. Yep, and we are starting to get a decent number of duplicates for that. So, that was Strixhaven School of Mages draft booster number 7 overall, the second one from the Prismari pre-release pack. I'm Zigzag, thank you for joining me today. Bye!